Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create heat waves in Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you take a look at like these edges and right around here, everything is being manipulated by these heat waves. They're a very, very subtle effect, but they sell a shot to make it look like it's hot. So if you want to raise the temperature of a shot, add some heat waves to anything that's dark and black and would actually absorb it and, or anything on the horizon and it'll make your shot look nice and strong. So let's get started on this. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna import our footage. So all I did was import this piece of footage which I got off of Envato Elements by searching Desert Road. A great subscription-based service, uh, tons of stock footage and photos and templates. Check out the link in the description below if that interests you. So once I have this imported, all I did was add a little bit of color correction here uh, just to make it look a little warmer, bring up that brightness, a little bit on the oranges, and we are ready to start the effect. I then go into Video Effects, Distort, and then Turbulent Displace. We're gonna grab that and drop it onto the clip. We're gonna go down to Turbulent Displace in the Effect Controls, and we're gonna look for the Turbulent Smoother. Now, already off the bat, this is looking pretty bad. It's, it's, it's really, really wavy, so we need to reduce the amount down to something like five to 10, really. That eight is kind of where I start, and then I adjust it if needed. Size as well needs to come down to like 20, you know, 15 to 30 range. And we will now have a, a good sized um, wave to work with. We're then going to go to our evolution. So make sure at the beginning, click on this stopwatch for evolution. Get to the very end over here. And then we're gonna bring this up. I like to bring it up to basically like a revolution per second. We're at 11 seconds, so about 11 revolutions. If you want it slightly faster, maybe go 1.5, slightly slower, go 0.75. Adjust it to whatever looks realistic for your shot. You'll notice if it looks off, just adjust it if it does. So now that we have this ready to go, we need to make sure that we um, can actually check it. If you see this is red though, so if we play it back, it's gonna be a little choppy. Um, that's just because this is a processor intensive thing. So I'm actually just gonna make a quick out point right here. Then you click the enter key to render that out. And all it's gonna do is render right here. And then we can actually view the clip. So now if we bring it up, we can see how our wave is looking. And we see that it's, it's looking great right through here. That first second, the waves look perfect. So now we have one more step to do to finally finish this off. We are going to go ahead, I'm just gonna clear the in and out. We're going to mask this because over here, we don't need the waves happening. Up in the sky, we don't need them happening. We want them happening in our domain. In that case, it's all along this road. So we're gonna go to Turbulent Displace. We're gonna click this little pen tool. I'm gonna zoom out to 25% so that we have a little working room. I'm gonna start down right around here. We're gonna then go along the road. We wanna capture this horizon a little bit because that does go the more into the horizon, the more displaced. Run it right along here, back, over. Then we want to feather this out just a little bit. We don't need the wave stopping on a, on a line anywhere. So we're going to feather to like 115, 116. And we should have a pretty good displacement map now. So now it has displaced. We go back to fit. And now our, dis our waves are only going to happen within this area. And as you can see, it's, it's going frame by frame now. So let's go to two seconds right here. Click a mark out point, click enter. We're then going to let it render out. Uh, depending on the, the speed of your devices, how quickly this will take. Mine's gonna take like five or six seconds. Could take longer, could take shorter. If you're trying to render the whole thing out, could take like upwards of 10 seconds um, or longer, sometimes minutes. So now let's take a quick look at this two second loop right here. And we are looking really good in this shot. We have some good waves happening. Take a look at this line right there. That's where you can really see those waves propagating upwards. And over here, you see that there is nothing manipulated at all. So we have successfully generated heat waves in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I try to make videos consistently. And if you subscribe, you can just keep learning in the Adobe realm. If you would like to further your Adobe though, I have actually created a course on Adobe Premiere Pro. The course is very detailed and it's just like this, tutorial-based things to slowly learn Premiere by actually creating physical effects. Check out the link in the description below for that. Until next time, everybody, see ya.